the first thing we need to do is to go to our router's web interface from our browser. Apologies about my half Spanish uh, interface. And look for the wireless LANs that we have available. Remember that regarding the specification, we need to look for that one that it's at 2.4 GHz. So in my case, I've got two. The first one is having an ending of A9, and the second one is having a prefix of plus and ending with the same as well. So if I go to the first one and I go to advanced configuration, I can see that this is 2.4 GHz. So this will be the right one to connect to. The other one, if I go to the advanced, it's gonna be five, pretty sure of it. Yeah, it's five GHz. So I go to my phone and I check that I'm connected to the right Wi-Fi and I can see that I am connected to the right one. So let's open now the Smart Life application. If you don't have it yet, download it, check out the QR code and let's add a device. It's going to ask us to enable the location. So we just enable the location, we go back and because our smart plug is a Wi-Fi kind of socket, we choose that one. And the next step is gonna ask us for our Wi-Fi password. Make sure to enter the right password because fun fact, yeah, I did do that. Okay, so next step, we just plug in the socket and we power on the device. Now, this is the most important step because what happened to me is that in the user guide, it was saying, make sure the light indicator is flashing rapidly, but this is wrong. What you actually need to do is press and hold once and you will see that it's blinking fast, but this one is not the real one. So let's do it again, the same thing, exact same thing. You just press and hold for approx five seconds and you will get the slowly blink. So this one is the one that we need. So we click on next and we select the blink slowly option. Now we're going to connect to the device hotspot through Wi-Fi. So a new Wi-Fi network should appear. Here we go, the Smart Life Wi-Fi. So we click on that to connect to the device. And once we are connected, we can go back and the app will just start adding the device. This step is quite fast, so you don't need to wait too long. Now we can change the name if we want. And because this is going to be for my TV, I'm just gonna name it TV Socket. Fine, all right. So now it's going to check for updates for the plug. And yeah, there's a firmware update. Click on update. And I'm gonna speed up this process because it takes longer. So we are back and we are going to try if it works. Let's try to switch off. Yeah, and now switch on. Cool. So that's all. Completed. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.